This looks so good. This is how we spend our zeros. Just kidding, our Neros. <laughs> Rolling up toilet paper. Splitting toilet paper rolls. Yeah. This is really hard one handed. <laughs> Alright, it's slowly developing. Adorable. And then I'm gonna add it to the rest of the uh, the wall. E. Add awesome. Except the wall is kind of full, so I am right there, and Soap is right there, and Pumba is right there, and Bonk is right there, and I don't think I know any of these other people. Oh, Mr. Worldwide is right there. Getting ready to head back out on trail to Route 27. Um, Jen is going to be taking us in her Fiat. We got our bags in there, ready to go. Uh, I just got a weather alert that there is a hurricane that's passing through in Virginia and I mean all across uh, the eastern seaboard, but um, it just said that there's going to be heavy rain, heavy flooding, uh, flash flooding in rivers in especially Virginia and Maine, and I'm in Maine, and the Kennebec is coming up in like two, three days, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's terrifying. Um, we've got some big river crossings coming up and I hope I don't get stuck and I hope I have enough food and uh, I think uh, everything's about to get very very wet but for right now today is sunny awesome dry lots of nerves coming into the next couple of days to two weeks because we're getting to Katahdin and I'm so excited um, bittersweet bittersweet um, but one day at a time and it's gonna be great um, Pumba left this morning. He's gonna do a 22 mile slack pack over the Bigelows, uh, and which are the last four K mountains that we'll be passing through. Um, so when I are doing them um, today, we're leaving right now. It's around 11:30 ish, 11 o'clock. Um, and Sass left yesterday to head into the Bigelows. So she's already probably done the Bigelows. She's way ahead, but I'm gonna be catching up with them in a couple of days. Hopefully the rain doesn't either wash me away with it or. Um, anything to get off trail. Just kidding. Um, we're making it to Maine. Um, but in the meantime, me and Soap are going to be hiking together and enjoying some good days together. And hopefully, we're hoping to find a really cool stealth site on top of one of the Bigelows to watch the sunset. Um, uh, we ran into Jenny and Couch yesterday who slack packed Bigelows. Uh, Couch said it was really freaking hard. Jenny said it was easy. Um, nothing we haven't done before, but some of the best views in Maine. So I'm really glad that we're getting that today um, as opposed to tomorrow when it's supposed to be very, very, very rainy and windy and gross and ugh. So exciting things happening and um, this place has been amazing. Um, I was a little bit behind on getting ready, so Soap gave you all the tour of the hostel on my phone. Um, he said it was great. Uh, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm excited to see it. Okay, so this is the main bunkhouse. Um, there's Gadget packing up his stuff. Say hi, Gadget. Hi, Gadget. Hey! Uh, so each of these, like these were hand built by people, and they got each got memory foam mattresses. They've got privacy curtains, fans outlets it's amazing uh lots and lots and lots to do there uh, then we come along here there's a computer to use there are private rooms um so single rooms and some double like two person rooms there is a single bathroom here with a great shower sitting area with a tv and soap hello uh, a double bathroom with two showers here, two bathrooms, a whole bunch of loner clothes. And then that's the upstairs. And then we go down, down into the kitchen. So here's the kitchen area communal kitchen with fridges and um, cooker, laundry, the wall with everybody's photo, including people. Gadget still has to have her photo taken. There is a communal area here with a table tennis or ping pong table. 
lots of seats, a couch behind the uh, behind the bar. Uh, there's drinks available in there. There is a wonderful kind of shop resupply uh, option here with all the kind of stuff that you might need as a hiker. So as an example, ramen uh, with 50 cents. Like, so the prices are really like competitive. They've got all these different protein packets, different options here. Liquid IVs, books, trekking poles. This place has got you know everything. Um, there's a downstairs restroom there. And there is a an outside area out back with barbecue pits and a covered yeah, table, people drying their stuff here. Um, there was a groundhog out here yesterday. Uh, it was around. Yeah, this place is pretty epic. Uh, back in. And... <laughs> we have coffee and stuff up there. And we have porch area here with um, no shoes in the house. Uh, and the school bus, which is what we shuttled into town the other day. And yeah. 80 through hikers welcome. The gens are great. If you are hiking the AT, make sure that you come by here and you make sure you come by here and enjoy the main roadhouse because it is freaking amazing what they've done with this place. It is like through the roof. I am just blown away. I could literally stay here for days and feel like it's home. Jen and Jen are great. I think her name is Trickle, Triple, tri trick, Trickle. Um, she's working here uh, at the hostel and she was also working at Woods Hole, which was really cool. It was really cool to see her again. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna hike. And it was really sad to say bye to Jenny today, uh, this morning, because uh, she is scheduled to finish up Katahdin for us. Um, so we might see her at Shaw's, which is like the last hostel on the trail. Um, she said she's gonna zero, or we might not. I don't know, but let's. Let's go hike because I am nervous and I need to start hiking again. The uh, the the, you know, the the caveat is that any time you enter a country. All right. So the plan today is to go potentially 13 miles, but we will see how we're feeling, right? Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're gonna go climb some tall mountains and see Big some. Lows. Yep, and see some cool views. And yeah, that's it. This guy's name is Dick Brown, or it's like Dick's Brown Bridge. Or he has a brown. <laughs> Thanks for that. Did you get that? I did. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I edited the content. <clears throat> You're fired. No, no, no. You're fired from answering questions. This bridge is fun. I think it's Dick Brown. And his bridge. And his br this is his bridge. <laughs> this is a no, beautiful bridge. No with a brown. Okay, so it's telling us to register, which we're going to, mainly because, well, me at least, because I might die in this hurricane. So I want my parents to know where I'm at and where they last saw me. All right, so maybe this is 2,000 miles. I don't know, but congratulations! Ah! 2,000 miles. <laughs> what is that? It does kind of look like coral. Yeah so pretty wow definitely mushroom or some kind of fungus yeah well i don't know if like this is the real color or if the purple ones are the real color pretty all right so we found some more thistles those ones are pretty and kind of gross looking <laughs> yeah like yeah just a little bit scrambling. all right so we're stopping for lunch that looks like the North and South Horn, which are headed up next. And I think the Bigelows are on the other side of that. Or the Horn.
performance part of it. I'm not really sure this way, but I'm excited. It's taking us a little bit longer to get up than I thought, but we're not really rushing today. We're doing just enjoying ourselves, enjoying the last four Ks, and yeah, enjoying our, each other's company. Looking like this. Right. Ooh. All right, lunch is cabbage cheese, mayonnaise, two types of Genoa salami, soap. Waffle. You're eating waffles for lunch. I love it. <laughs> like the hostess type of range of stuff. Mm. Like Twinkies or... You know, Little like deep pie. Yeah. Like honey buns or something like that. Don't forget I should eat this right now because... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, because he said it's going to get messier and grosser. Yeah, that's and I, that's, I think that's very true. But <laughs> now I also think if I eat it tonight, like... There's gonna be way too much sugar, so it's gonna get me up those mountains right there. Woo! I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That is heavy too. Oh. I don't know why I bought it. You picked it up and I was like, no, she's not gonna buy that. And then you were like, I put it in my like, damn, that girl's changed. Bye. Well, I feel like, I don't know, everyone's talked about it. I saw it at the Trail Magic on Tuesday. Uh, okay. And then everyone was like raving about whoopie pies. Oh. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna give it like a, a five. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's just like sitting there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good. Good view. All right, I'm coming. Ooh. I already saw that. <laughs> I already saw it. So pretty. And then check out this little lake. That is, wow, that is incredible. Holy crap. Big old mountain, South Horn. Ooh, 2.1 to the West Peak and 0.5 to the North. I think we're just going, yeah, that's back, but we're definitely going to Big Little Mountain West. And that is going to be right there, that's beautiful. Heck yeah, bring it on. So that's where we're going. And check out this view. That is beautiful. Oh, that is so cool. Ah, look at the tiny like little snake river. So cute. That's amazing. All right, I'm coming for you. This is very pretty. I like how flat this is. Yeah. Don't it. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's going to go up anyways because we're going up the Bigelow's, but for now, it's beautiful. Cool. Wow. Wow. So cute. Beautiful. I love the way that the wind whistles through all of these ferns. Wow, this part is incredible. All right, I'm gonna turn around. Wow, holy moly, that's beautiful. Those are beautiful lakes. Wow, incredible. Okay, let's keep going. That was a little sketchy. Oop. Okay, yep. Oof. And how much you can see of it, or also yeah. like maybe like Mount Madison. Madison, so I'm a little bit like Bald Pate, maybe. Bald Pate, yep. So Franconia Ridge, Bald Pate. In Madison. Absolutely. So pretty. But like unique in itself. 
Oh, I bet there's like a great 360 view up here. Yeah. So ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Absolutely incredible. Wow, that drop is big. It's crazy. Hey, boneception. Oh, <laughs> incredible. All right, this is amazing. Um, we're convinced that this is a green screen and this does not actually exist because, oh, holy crap, that is beautiful. Man, that's insane. How cool. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Woo! <laughs> okay, well, now we've officially bagged the peak. Bigelow West Peak, elevation 4,150 feet. Hell yeah. All right, let's see. Check. Check. <laughs> bagged the peak. <laughs> but also, please stay on. Like real high one, right? See, all the way, like way back. <laughs> no. Okay. See. <laughs> My green patch. Okay. Couch was wrong, it does not suck. Well, let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Oof. That is an incredible view of Bigelow Avery Peak. Holy moly. It's actually insane how close I'm standing to the inch. Like, it doesn't even feel like this is real. And I am just blown away that stuff like this exist. I am high on happiness right now. Oh my gosh. It's, it's literally spectacular. Nature is wild. Nature is so wild. Like, look at that. That is crazy. Yeah, it really was like the most beautiful thing. I, I'm struggling to think of the news that's been there, to be honest. Yeah? Like, the cafe was fucking amazing. Uh, like even, like even Washington, like yeah, like that was like pretty. This, like, I don't know, just like it's just like with the lakes and the other hills. rolling green hills, yeah. like mountains, lakes, ponds, streams, rivers, yeah. um, the cliff faces that we're about to climb up, yeah. and like we know it's like not that difficult, but we're gonna be able to do it. Yeah. Like just like the sheer beauty of nature, yeah. it's just so f amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and spectacular. I, I was so surprised to say nature is wild. Nature is wild. Thank you. Now you're getting it. It's really freaking wild. It's so freaking wild. You are. I've wonder. I've been onto something since the beginning. Yeah, you, 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 you were all alone. <laughs> what can I say? Wow, that's just like wrapped up the whole story. You are. I think we can be done now, right? Just kidding. Oh. That's, look at that. We gotta climb that, and then we gotta climb Katahdin. Yeah, I really don't know, I don't understand how we're gonna go back up that. Let's uh, We're gonna go to... Uh... We're doing Big Newton. Snack. Um, if you look very closely, you can see the lakes. We dumped our bags here. 
and I'm about to filter some water because I drank all mine. Did you just call it a little scoop scoop? I mean, little scoop scoop. <laughs> yeah, so this is the water source. It's a little box. A box spring. I feel like after tonight, it's going to be hella full. <laughs> there we are. Hella full. Yes. That's yes. kind of cool. That's... And it comes with its own scoop. Oh, hey. In theory, that's coming out, like, out of the mountain. Hi. Okay, well... God, it's cold. That's good though, right? Yeah, so good. Although, I just drank almost all of the stuff that I poured in. <laughs> they just filtered? Yeah. Well, can, oh, you, no. can you look to see what our water sources are if we... If we stop at the top? If we stealth? Down. Yeah. Because I want to make sure that we have a water. We have water. Yeah, I don't think there's and any so... water. There's no water on the ridge, so, but there's... Well, no, so that's what I'm saying. We might need a camel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know it's going to be a slog up this next climb, but... Not that bad. It's yeah, it should be fine. only like 0.2 up. Yeah. I don't know what the next one looks like. I think, we, next... I think we start... Oh, no, the next one's really, really, really easy. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a ridge line to... Yeah, yeah. To wherever, and then we're like... Yeah, this one's like 0.2, so we're fine. We think we should be fine, yeah. So I think that's a little too full. Is that a new filter, or is that the one you bought in Lincoln? The one I bought in Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, is yours? It's the, the same one I bought in Lincoln, yeah. but it's like, for some reason, it's just real. Shitty? Well, it's just like, you saw the filter right on it, so it's not great. I mean, neither is mine. Okay. I was letting um, Puma and Sass use it. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh. It's a lot of water. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> it's fine because it refills because it's a spring, but... It's just real silty around some of this part. Interesting. Oh, because it's coming from the mountain? Yeah. So, so from, even though like you take like a bunch of stuff from deep in the ground, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's this is not like the level's not going down at all because it's just refilling. Yeah, from the That is so cool. This yeah. is the first one that we've seen, right? No, there's been a couple of them. Oh. So I can see what you're doing. That's insane. And apparently we cover it so nothing drops into so the, it. Yeah, the leaves and stuff don't drop in. That's smart. You're smart. I am. I'm done. Someone said this. And that's how you filter your water. Which I should go do. Alright, from one big low to the next. Not so bad. Not steep at all. It was only like plain to uh, from the water source. <laughs> Very, very pretty up here. Incredible. Oh, and there it is. I think the views up here are a lot better than it was. But also, please stay on trail. Oh, oh God. <laughs> we don't know where trail is. It's like right here somewhere. Oof. Yeah. A lot of loose rocks. Oh, yeah, there's the trail. And now we're climbing somewhere over there, and we're going to find a spot to camp. Yeah. Holy crap. Like, I love the shadows of the clouds. The clouds, yeah. It just does not seem real. So apparently this is like five miles, but we're about to go up to this, like, I think that's Little Bigelow West Ledges or something like that. But we're going to go do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are my fall noises. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Whoop. Up. 
and stuck it, stuck the landing. Oh, he looks like a donut. Don't. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Don't violate it. Yes, my goodness, Mr. Fuzzy Boy. He's so fuzzy. He is so cute. Oh my God, look at the way he walks. Look at the way he talks. <laughs> he is so cute. Wow, this is, yeah, so cool. So very cool. That's a giant rock. Heck yeah. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, the stick is definitely Ooh. holding it up off trail. Good job, stick. Yeah. Oof. Thank you. Thank you you, you were doing life. great work out here in the forest. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Bravo. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Wow, wow. <laughs> what do you do? Don't don't pull in. Uh, yeah. It's a... What did you think? I it was like, like the rock yeah. moved or the stick moved? Yeah, the rock moved. Did it? No. Oh. <laughs> All right, so originally we were sitting up here and over there. However, someone just came by. His name is Rodney and he's a Sobo. And he told us that there is a better, better campsite with like a fire pit and stuff, like 0.5 up. So we're gonna go up that way and hope it's a better campsite and not so bumpy and rocky. So I'm really hoping this guy like wasn't playing with us. <laughs> Cause honestly, I think that would be really funny. Um, but, I don't know. We're about to find out though. I don't think this is what he was talking about, but this is also a very nice area. I don't know, I'm gonna wait for soap. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this. The thing he said like, oh, they got firing, it like, didn't have there, but there was, there was a part of rock. There was. It could have been. I don't know, let's go check see all right we're going back we've decided um just because we don't know how far up this is or what this guy's concept of time is um he said five minutes i think we've been hiking for like five minutes but we did find a second spot that was a lot flatter than the first so and the rain is potentially coming in soon i don't know still kind of looks like blue skies um but we think that it'll probably be best for us. Just so we know that we have a spot. Feels weird hiking solo. But we're doing it. Oh my gosh, I have to pee so bad. And I'm tired. And I'm hungry. So this is good. This is good that we're stopping. I think we did a little over 10 today. And then we've got 22 to Pierce a shelter. Uh, so we might break that up into two. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Sponsored by...